Astaghfirullah. Okay, previously doctor mentioned that Allah is God and not just for the Muslims but also for the non-Muslims, for the blacks, for the whites as doctor quoted earlier. So, okay, I can accept that Allah is God for everybody. But there was an incident a few years ago uh, on this date called September 11 when there were two towers which were filled with American citizens. Um, I would presume that they were of the Christian faith, these American citizens. And these two towers were knocked down by an aeroplane, which was hijacked and controlled by, from what I have heard, uh, controlled by Muslims. So in that sense, what I see is that the brother is killing the brother. Mm. And uh, I just want to know what doctor has to say about that. This is a very good question. It's referring to 9-11, September 11, just, just passed away a couple of weeks back. That the Twin Towers was there, it was knocked down by a plane, there were majority Christian in it, knocked down what she heard, and she's very clear, mashallah. She heard that Muslim controlled the plane. Sister, till now, it's only a hypothesis. It's a hypothesis that Muslims were there, it was 19 mm. Arabs who hijacked the plane, and they went to the Twin Towers. According to 75 scientists, American, all of them Christian, according to 75 American scientists and professors, if you have seen the documentary Loose Change, no, Loose Change is a documentary, made by a young American, he does interviews, and these 75 scientists and professors say that we cannot ever believe that 19 Arabs can hijack a plane and knock into the Twin Towers. It is an inside job done by the White House. White House, you know White House. Now, I hear everything. I'm hearing from the news, Arabs have done it. I'm hearing from news that Muslims have done it. They found the passport of an Arab in the plane crash, which burned the pillars and all the iron rods, but did not burn the passport of the Arab. So someone wrote that next time they should make the army suit mm. of the Americans in their passport material. <laughs> I have given a full lecture on, is terrorism Muslim monopoly? It is so effective. Yeah. My lecture is so effective that the Westerners don't want to be in the country today. <laughs> My lecture is so effective, so logical. These people, these Americans, I'm quoting, huh? I'm only giving you statistics that they had an interview with the person who made the Twin Towers. He said that it's impossible that the fuel of the plane can melt the Twin Tower. And if you see the photograph, it was the Twin Tower came in stages as though there were bombs mm. planted in advance. There are many hypotheses. For example, there's a boy who's speaking on the mobile. Mother, mother, I am Mark Binhang. I am Mark Binhang speaking. Point to be noted at that time in 9-11, 2001, more than 10 years back, mobile could not reach that level. Point number one. Point number two, when the son speaks to the mother, why will you say Mark Binhang? When I will speak to my mother, I'll say Zakir, I'll not say Zakir Naik speaking. Mm. <laughs> when I speak to my mother, I'll say Zakir, I'll not say Zakir Naik. So what you realize, they're trying to make a story and blame. And that person on the mobile told the mother mm, that it was Muslims. Yeah. So all these documentaries you see, Loose Chain, Fahrenheit, many documentaries. If you ask me, who did it? I would say, I don't know. But as a logical person, the logical proof of Loose Chain is much more logical than the proof given to me by the American government. And then they want to attack Afghanistan. Afghanistan give me proof, they want to give proof to Musharraf. Why? And I speak so openly, Westerners believe in freedom of people, they don't like my talk. So what they do? They prevent mm. me to enter in the country. I'm telling you, let's have a dialogue. As far as the question is concerned, who did it keep it aside? I know that there were more than 3,000 human beings who were killed mm. in Twin Towers. If you want the Islamic answer, as I mentioned in my talk, as for Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 32, if anyone kills any other human being, unless it be for murder, or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though it's yeah. of humanity. So whoever did the Twin Towers, whoever did it, whether it was inside job, whether American did or Muslim did, whoever did it, it is wrong. Prohibited, haram, I condemn it. You did Muslim did I don't know. Whoever did it, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, American, X, Y, Z, whoever... Brother and sisters, if you are enjoying today's video, then it's a request to you guys. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So let's continue watching today's video. Whoever did, more than 3,000 Americans were killed. Even if they were non-American, it, it is a haram. I also mm. go on to say, more than 50 people were killed in the tube blast of London. In London tube blast, some say 52, some say 54. So I say more than 50. When more than 50 people were killed, I condemn it. In Bombay, when there were trained bomb blast in 2006, more than 180 people were killed. I condemn it. But I don't put a full stop there. 
I also say that I condemn the thousands of innocent people killed in Afghanistan, in Palestine, in Iraq. <laughs> now coming to the secret. Coming to the secret. Now I condemn 3,000 Americans killed. Everyone is happy. I condemn more than 50 mm. people killed in London tube blast. Everyone is happy. I condemn more than 180 people killed in Bombay. Everyone is happy. But when I say I condemn the thousands of innocent people killed in Afghanistan, in Iraq and Palestine, the Home Secretary of UK doesn't like it, so she bans me. <laughs> freedom of speech. When you want to criticize the Prophet of Islam, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, freedom of speech. And I said I condemn the innocent people killed in Afghanistan. No, I'm careful, you know, because I'm a debater. Because if I say thousands of people killed, they say, oh, Zakir is supporting oh. terrorists in Afghanistan. So I'm going out of my way to say thousands of innocent yeah. people killed in Afghanistan. They may be terrorists, Allah, Allah, I don't know. So I'm so careful. When I said America, I didn't say innocent American. As any American you kill, I condemn in the Twin Towers, in the London bomb blast, in the Bombay bomb blast. But in Afghanistan, I said innocent, so it doesn't go down the throat. You know why? Hmm. Because Akir gets large audiences, no? Right. Today, the media wants to malign Islam. But if they have a person who's clarified the picture of Islam, they want to ban him. Let's have a dialogue. Come to comment terms. So as far as killing innocent people, sister, whoever did it is to be condemned. But don't follow the media. The media today is the most powerful weapon in the world. Mm, it can convert black exactly. into white, it can convert day into night, hero into a villain, villain into a hero. Uh, that's why I said, doctor, from what I have heard. I agree, your question was very I'm good. I'm not sure, you're not sure, I'm not sure. Yes, I, don't, I don't think anybody... I thank is... you, you're not like the American, very good. And neither are you like the, <laughs> thank you, thank neither you. Are you like the Home Secretary <laughs> of UK. Your question was very clear, and my answer is clear. Whoever did it, it is wrong, killing any innocent people. And just one more, I'd like to give an incidents. When I gave a talk in Bombay on is there in the Muslim monopoly, I gave a talk. <laughs> After the train bomb blast, the police of Bombay told me, Zakir, you're popular among the Muslims, why don't you give a talk? And the Muslims said, oh, only Zakir is truthful, he can talk to the police. So I was on the edge of the sword, both are telling me to give a talk. Mm. And I told there, while I was guiding even the police and the Muslim Ummah, that when you have a doubt about a Muslim and you arrest a few, no problem, you are rounding up 3,000 Muslims just to catch few terrorists. Whether you catch those 5, 10 terrorists or not, you're creating another mm. terrorist. If you really have doubt and proof regarding few Muslims, catch, we'll cooperate with you. But in mass, you're catching Muslim youngsters. And few years back, before 2006, in the early part of 2000, there was a genocide, a massacre of the Muslims in Gujarat. Thousands of Muslims were killed, thousands of Muslim women were raped. And in retaliation, that's what the media says. In world commerce, retaliation. There was bomb blast in Bombay. So one Hindu gets up and tells me, Dr. Zakir Naik, if I would have been in the place of a Muslim, and if thousands of Muslims were killed, and if my mother was raped, I would do the same thing what the Muslims have done here. And the people tried to clap. I said, brother, what you're behaving is like a normal mm. human being, emotional. I agree with you. Yes. Normal. But I, as a Muslim, cannot do that. Because my religion does not permit me to do that. My religion does not permit me to kill a single yes. innocent human being. Even if some Hindus in Gujarat have killed Muslims, it does not give me permission to kill an innocent Hindu living in Bombay. I cannot do it. I know you're emotional, even I have emotion, but I cannot follow my emotion because my Quran does not permit me. It does not permit me. If I catch the culprit in Gujarat and give him to the law and punish him, no problem. But retaliating by killing an innocent human being in Bombay, imagine the family of that person, innocent person who's killed, will 100% yeah. always be enemy of Islam. I'm here to spread peace. So in Islam, you cannot get emotional and go against the law of the creator. The law of the creator is very clear that you cannot kill any innocent human being. If you kill even one innocent human being, it's as though you have killed yes. the whole of humanity. And if you save one innocent human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, it is as though you have saved the whole of humanity. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, doctor. Brother and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you like the answers of Dr. Zakir Naik because Dr. Zakir Naik always gave answers according to Quran and Hadith. And I hope you have watched his video till end. So in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video of which is from Moscow, Russia. And as everyone knows that our news is getting viral on the internet, which is from Moscow city. And there was a concert was happening and terrorist attack happened during that concert. As you can see in the video, terrorists entered to the consult area and they start firing firing to kill innocent people and you can see in the video how brutally they were killing those people and this incident is getting viral in the world and many people are condemning this incident different people around the world including muslims and non-muslims are claiming that whoever did this they should be punished to that death so guys what do you think about this video if you have any information who did this incident please let us know by giving your comments below and after that we have watched the video of dr zakir knight in which our question was asked to him which was related to to Quran and you can see in the video a girl asked the question to Dr. Zafir Knight that why Islam allow to kill innocent people 
In the reply, Dr. Zakir Naik proved it from Quran and Hadith that there is no any claim in the Quran and Hadith that allows Muslims to kill innocent people. So guys, I hope you have watched the video of Dr. Zakir Naik and if you are satisfied with the answers of Dr. Zakir Naik, then it's our request to you guys, please share this video with your friends and family members. So they can get benefit from it and other request please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first so see you guys in next video till then allah hafiz